first day, we were going to the local mountain. So we go to Mount Washington, um, heading up the hill, just kind of pull over on the side, break out the sled. And then we got to the base and pulled up to these little little fun lines. There's a, maybe one line in there, and I think we row shammed, or for some reason, Arrow, Arrow got it first. He does his line, and then all the snow kind of comes down on top of him, and it kind of ruined that whole little phase. And Curtis did a little, little drop a couple times. Sun rose this morning, baby. Gorgeous. I'm laying down on my floor. <laughs> so we go and set up this ollie over the tree, and it's pretty beat by all the men's purposes. But I think Arrow ended up getting a cool scale fish. That was that, saw a nice sunset, headed back, and the next morning we woke up and went to Mount Cain. And we pull up to Mount Cain and it's just small little shacks, tiny parking lot, one T-bar going up, and actually the surrounding area looked like there was some pretty cool terrain, so we were all pretty excited. Not looking bad out there, huh? No, it looks awesome. So we go up the T-bar, and right away you can just tell it's, it's kind of set back, like in time, people aren't up on the newest trend. It's kind of hard to explain, but it definitely had a distinct, unique feeling. It seemed pretty old school. So we took a couple runs, just taking fun laps, trying to milk some stuff. Let me out for one. Put me down for one slam. Put me down for one. And then found a little Cornish drop. I'm going down Louisiana. I found this cool little little tree ride kind of log jam thing that we hit a couple times. Lord, I fix my baby, she won't have no other man. Mount Cain ended up being a great trip. Definitely worth going out there and would, would uh, look forward to going out there again in the future. <laughs>